Hi everyone and welcome to another card video. Today I'm doing a then and now feature, which I do uh, then and now, uh, which where I take an old card and I created I create a new card based on that one. Kind of for me to see how far I come, how far I have evolved, but uh, also for you to see how I evolve, but also using newer products um, make it possible for you to remake this card if you want to. So the character that I'm coloring today, uh, that is the biggest part <laughs> of the card, is called Jack the Elf. He is a Make It Crafty uh, stamp. And when he uh, was released in 2014, I did the previous card. I never really 100% felt comfortable with that card because I didn't like how I made his face. And as I have grown as a colorist, I kind of more and more wanted to remake him and make him look different. So I'm here and doing that. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I made differently with this character, but I probably would say the biggest difference is the face. And it is mostly how I treated his cheeks and the area between his eyes. This is, I think, a very much a personal thing. I really, really like uh, to make the characters look babyish and child like, childlike, because um, they usually look cuter then. And there's a few things when you make a childlike character, and that is a childlike character has big eyes, they have a more rounded face, and they don't have as much protruding facial parts. So noses are usually pretty small. The little bump that you have between your eyes is not as, um, it, it's more flatter. It doesn't show the bridge of your nose the same way as in an adult. So those are things that I kind of applied to his face um, to make him look cute and adorable. And for you who think this is going way too fast with the coloring, can, please can you slow down? There will be another video coming up. I think it's, it probably will be released at the same time. I usually release them at the same time uh, as this one, where I will do a voiceover over just the coloring in real time. So if you like seeing um, the coloring of, of a character in real time, I have those videos too. There will be a link in the description down below. There will be a link at the end of the video and hopefully there will be a kind of a card thing that you can press on here in the upper corner. For the rest of the character, when I colored him, uh, my thought was to reduce the colors. I didn't want to have the, the pop of yellow because I don't have the pop of yellow anywhere else on the card. And as I can add, I kind of go through my own little rule book on how I create cards. And one of this is that I can add as many neutrals as I want, as long as they work together. Um, so I have the gray and the brown. And then uh, in this case, I have chosen to go with red and green as the colors. Sometimes I only have one pop of color, sometimes two. Now there are beautiful creations with so many different colors, but I have found that for me, uh, it is easier to make a cohesive piece if I use a reduced color scheme. So I have green, red, and then the neutrals, which are my browns the skin color and the grays. I switched around the colors a little bit. Um, I decided that I wanted him to have a whole green outfit, uh, including his little hat. Um, and then I also wanted to have kind of red stripes on his clothing. And to tie in with the red on his clothing and on the little ducky, I gave him red hair because I love colored hair. I actually went pink, back to pink now, and I'm feeling so much better. I, I love just having my own color in, in strike and bold colors. It feels more like me. Anyhow, um, 
that is my color scheme choices sort of uh i just wanted him to look christmasy with my christmas reds and christmas greens yeah because he's adorable little christmas elf I'm then cutting him out with my Cutter B scissors and uh, fussy cutting is something I enjoy. It is something that I use for therapy. So this is actually sped up 500 times. The um, coloring was also sped up 500 times. I'm not a, that quick of a colorist. Um, but I, I sit down when I do fussy cutting, I just sit down, I put on some music and I just go slow and methodically and uh, throughout the years I have become a, a, a rather good cutter because cutting is it is easy but you have to practice it a lot to give the get the results that you want I, I always finish my fussy cutting by using my craft knife to remove the extra white spaces where I can't get in with the scissors because that is how I like to have them so now I'm going to do the background I'm going to use this stamp set. It's an older stamp set from Lawn Fawn and uh, it actually has the same design of the trees as the previous pattern paper, the pattern paper that was on the original card. Uh, the trees are a little bit bigger though, but it is the, the, the same design that came from the same release. So I thought I would uh, remake the pattern paper because I don't have that pattern paper left and I don't think you can get it anywhere because that card was done in 2014 and I don't know if the paper was new then or if it was a season old. But anyhow, um, I'm using my Lawn Fawn chamois in between when I'm inking because it will clean that stamp really, really good and also you're not using any strange chemicals. And as you see it in mine, it's very, very dirty, but it still works and it doesn't leave any residue. I wanted to try and to emulate the gradient that the trees had uh, for uh, in the image uh, or in the previous pattern paper. So I'm using two different colors per kind of tree combination. I also, as you saw there, stole a little star from another Lawn Fawn stamp set. Everything will be linked in the description down below um, because um, Lawn Fawn have stamp sets have all of these little small detail things that you can find and you can find stars like that on several of their uh, stamp sets. I just pick a Christmas stamp set that I had because the pattern paper had a star in between every tree like it was topped with a star in the same color as the tree. So for the gray tree I'm using Manatee ink and Sooth ink for the green tree, I used Jalapeno ink and uh, Noble Fur ink. So I have a darker at the bottom and a lighter at the top. Um, if you accidentally kind of um, ink up the whole tree when you're doing the darker part, uh, just use kind of a little piece of paper or the chamois to kind of dab away the ink at the top you will be able to get a really nice uh, kind of gradient effect. Here I don't even remove the ink from the stamp set and I actually stopped doing that when I did the bottom color. I just colored up the bottom with a new color and then stamped again because it's so little uh, color left on the stamp and it's the same color, you know. It made it go a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always nicer when things goes a little bit faster. For the three in the bottom, I actually ended up uh, not wanting to move that paper up and down all the time. So I did all of the stamping on the top and then I went in with a little tree at the bottom as the kind of last thing I'm doing in my um, Misty. The min Misty tool I have is the Mini Misty. I really want the big one. Um, can't just afford it right now but I really want the big one uh, because then this would be much easier because I only have the small one when I'm doing a full background like I'm doing here I have to have the paper outside of the misty and that makes it a little bit harder and 
I ended up actually doing, as you see here, taking that stamp out of the misty and just using my acrylic block for the top because um, I kind of had a hard time figuring out how to put it in the misty. But otherwise, I really love the mist, especially for a thing like that when you want a gradient because you want to stamp it directly on the same place. So it's really good for that. I am using some um, my favorite things, uh, stitched dies um, to make the mat. And there is two sets of those rectangular dies. And I have both. So I'm using the biggest from each of the steps of the sets and that will give me a sixteenth of an eighth, eighth <laughs> sixteenth of an inch uh, border uh, on, on the edges of it. The green cardstock that I'm using is also lawn fawn so it matches with the inks. Then I wanted this happy joyous stamp set which is a my favorite thing stamp set. I love big and bold sentiment stamps. They are beautiful and I'm actually taking a little note from the trees. So I'm starting off with a jalapeno ink and stamping it, making sure that it's pressed down really good. And then I'm going in with the noble fur, just inking up the kind of bottom-ish area. You don't have to be very, very like, perfect with this. This is also why I love this technique because you're just inking up a little bit um, and you kind of get that gradient effect. Um, gives a little bit more life to the sentiment. Now I don't have any dies that would match the sentiment perfect so instead I'm just cutting it down and I'm cutting it down. I actually ended up cutting it down I think about a quarter of an inch uh, smaller than the back and the, than the background. So the background is actually four inches. <clears throat> so this is for uh, three inches and three three quarters of an inch. Um, and then I'm just uh, adding making a mat and that is about the, the whole piece in an, is an eighth bigger and then you get a sixteen of an inch bigger um, kind of mat all around. So yeah, Mat mathematics, you know, mathematics. Um, I'm uh, adding some foam tape on the back side of the sentiment. One of the reasons why I love adding foam tape is because the dimension will give you a kind of a natural shadow um, around the piece so you will get kind of a shadow mat naturally when you're using that and then i finished it off by adding my little character on top of the sentiment and um that makes the card finished i want to thank you so much for watching if you like it please thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you have any questions just comment down below if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. That means a lot to me. And thank you again for watching and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.